Hello, my name is Bobby and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get the most out of the new addition you may have noticed to the basic issue navigator under more and issue function. This provides you with access to script runners custom JQL queries. For those of you unfamiliar with script runner, this is an add on for your Jira instance that your admins will have installed to help them customize and automate elements in Jira. Whilst most of the features of script runner are only available to Jira admins, there are features such as the JQL functions that are available to all Jira users. JQL functions help you make more dynamic and detailed searches for Jira issues, allowing you more flexibility when it comes to finding the information you need. So let's see how they work. To use script runner's JQL functions, all you need to do is go to more and then issue function, choose add function, and a new pop-up will come up allowing you to select the JQL function you'd like to use. As you can see, they're all listed here. However, if you know the JQL function you'd like to use, you can start typing and it will filter based upon the information you've typed. Once you select the JQL function you'd like to use, the interface expands to give you the ability to add the parameters for that function. As you can see, this function currently takes two parameters, neither of which are mandatory, so I'm just going to add that function as it is. You can then click to add or remove more functions and once you've finished you can click off of this item and it will automatically perform that search for you. There are a large number of JQL functions available for your use. All of the default JQL functions can be found listed here on our documentation site if you search for script runner for Jira documentation and go to the server data center option you'll be able to find the JQL functions feature and the listed JQL functions here divided up by the category of the sort of functionality they provide. It is possible for you to have a function in your list that is not listed on the documentation. Your Jira admins do have the ability to create their own JQL functions, and this would be why. Let's look at another example to show you the dynamic power of what JQL functions can provide. I want to find all issues that are currently at status open and are currently blocked by another Jira issue. I can use the linked issues of function for this, the subquery status equals open, and the link description of blocks, I can click to add that function, perform that search, and it gives me back these two Jira issues, both of which are currently at status open and are currently blocked by another Jira issue. If you have any further questions about this, or other things that ScriptRunner can do, please check out our documentation or speak to your Jira admin. Thank you.